Um, the exhibition comprises two film pieces, but um, they're sort of expanded installations. Um, one of them is called Terminal, a miracle play with popular music from the end of the world. Um, the idea um, originally was to rethink the format of displaying films in an, in an art context. We kind of wanted to think of, any, of films as events. So we decided to add a live score to them, but um, instead of just simply having a silent film with music, we decided to have a kind of dialogue or an interplay between the scenes on the screen and the music that we play live. Uh, the music itself is, again, a kind of uh, form of weird folk, futuristic folk music. So we play some um, bizarre folk instruments from recorders to the Chinese shank to um, handmade uh, herd gurdy. So the film um, is like a folk play uh, performed in the future by survivors of uh, some sort of atomic holocaust. And we're interested in presenting it as a folk tradition that can be reenacted and changed uh, by future generations. Partly because the suggestion in the film is that um, the end is not the end, that um, the kind of survivalist narrative of uh, the complete collapse of society is somehow false. Uh, we've accompanied that film with a room of objects that kind of expand the universe of the film. Um, so these objects are sort of folk objects um, that um, are inspired by the film. So for example, we turned um, most of the characters in that video into puppets and constructed a uh, puppet theatre. Um, or we created a pub sign devoted to or inspired by a scene from the film. Um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, these objects uh, serve, as Gary said, to expand and um, suggest that there is a world um, in the film that is not exhausted by the film. There's another film in the exhibition called We Are Equilibrium and it addresses similar issues, a uh, slightly different perspective, um, also exploring kind of myths of survivalism and competition um, through interrogating uh, kind of game theory. Yeah, um, we are sort of interested in exactly those myths that uh, somehow become naturalized in our current society. In this case, the myth of competition, the, the, the kind of the idea that competition is somehow natural, somehow endemic to humans, wherever they are. And uh, we kind of developed a very simple narrative around the idea of like competition to show that it is in fact um, an, a fairly artificial kind of social construction that um, rather than sort of like maybe benefit all as kind of like liberal capitalists would like us to think, creates a sort of, um, you know, deadlock, a sort of stagnation. So the film presents a dialogue between two machines. It starts from a very simple problem in kind of business studies um, to do with advertising, how companies need to compete. Um, but it ends in quite a surreal, poetic uh, conversation about stasis and stagnation. Um, so somehow we think that these pieces complement each other and uh, there are all sorts of connections that you might make between them, but we think maybe we can leave that to you as well.